Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff, another Just Fun Tour. And I am excited. I'm excited because we get to tour the island of Stray today. And Stray is kind of this run down cardboard type town. So um, I'm excited to see what that all entails. It's definitely a city island and I love a good city island so I can't wait to see it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this map. Okay, things that are very interesting about this island. It is, again, it's a run down little town. So as you can see, most of everything is in tents. There's three little tents in the main area. Um, there is a main house kind of over to the right. And as you can see, the resident services is still a tent. And I love that. I love that it's still, I don't think I've ever been to an island where resident services is still a tent. A uh, huge waterway in the back, a bunch of pathwork that I can see. Let's look at our villagers. We have, let's go with the people. We have Gray, there's Annie, we have Pajmina, and Buck. And I'm obviously, these are the two original villagers that came with the island. So this is so cool. I've never been anywhere like this before. So I'm excited to get into it. And of course, the dream address is at the bottom. So if you want to come and explore this kind of rundown town with me, that's amazing. Save it for another time. Of course, it will be in the description along with all of the creators information. So you can head over to Instagram, check them out. So talented. But let's not wait any longer. Let's head into Stray. Right out of the airport is kind of an idea of what you're coming into. Oh, they've got like some sort of, is this like a grocery store? Right out front, even the grocery store looks a little, looks a little sussy. If you ask me, it's a little, um, it's run down. Everything here is run down, but look at the buildings. Look at the layering. I love that. That's so good. And look at the road. I'm heading back towards where Red Resident Services is where I came in, which is just a pile of trash and a tent because again, run downtown, but there are tons of gifts left out here. So I'm going to go ahead, pick those up, open them up. We'll see what we have and go from there. Okay. There is a lot going on here. We have takeout coffee, canned coffee, uh, Furrow chic bag, I hope I'm saying that right. There's a duster, a cast, worn out jeans, holy socks, a dumbbell, a bandage, an iron wand, a dirty tank top, and a knit hat. So let's um let's try this out. Let's do a knit hat. Let's do a dirty tank top because yes. Let's go ahead with some worn out jeans. Oh, we look great. And of course, we're gonna hold a hand, uh, takeout coffee because, you know, we need energy. All right, we are now gonna head out and explore Stray. It's just beginning to snow here. I love that. I love the roads though. The roads are such a cool pattern and they've got that like dusting of snow on the side. So interesting. Now the beaches are not decorated, so we're just gonna bypass that although oh this is like an offshoot i was gonna say the beaches i know they aren't decorated but then you've got this little area oh it's closed whatever it is there are barrels and all sorts of things out front it is closed but i love the customs that are being used again i love the build heading around where resident services is towards the back what is this this is some sort of i don't know some sort of plant or waste area because there's all sorts of barrels and tanks and gears and they've got warning signs out front but i again i love the builds i love the layering with the fence and the jail bars the rusty colors everywhere Oh, look, a quaint little area to sit down while you're having your visit on Stray with the trees. The trees are even the perfect color for this island. They're not quite dark from the, like, bright from the fall. They're not quite green. They're almost gray. And it's kind of very, very fitting. What is this little area? 
Is this all just right behind resident services? I think it is. But it's built right... Oh, it is. Okay. But it's built right up, so I want to make sure... Hi, Luna. We don't miss it. I'll just... Oh, you can climb up. I see what they mean by cardboard town. Like, it is just boxes and just debris and mess everywhere. But I love that you can get up in here and walk around and explore it. Can I get through here? Oh, you can. And it brings you out to where that store was, where we came out from the airport. Oh, and you have another area where you can get up. I love any inner... Oh, I'm apparently stopping to drink coffee. I love any interactive build that you can, like, get into. And you can really get a view of what's going on here. It's, um... It's a bleak little island. Oh, this is right where we came in. Look at the customs, though. Everything is just so beat down and run down. There's boxes. I love the little bright yellow fence, though. The Just the little touch of color and the boxes and the cardboard everywhere this is kind of amazing and then we come into the area can i get in here with all the tents the three tents for this island and look at the light and the build up like it's their own little like tent city i don't know if i can can i get around i want to Oh, no, I can't. I can't get in. I don't think I can anyway, unless there's some magical way I can get to the back. To that tent where he is. Unless, can I sit on this? I can. And I can turn. I learned that in another video. <laughs> that I can sit on things and flip myself around and make it through. So now we can go inside and check out this tent. Oh, this is, um, I mean, they've got a space heater. So you've got that. You've got shelves for storage. You've got your laundry hanging up because that's important. Some drinks. You've got your little cart that you can pull around while you're collecting things you're caught. This is, um, very simple living. But again, we're living in kind of a tent town. So I would expect nothing less, but this is, this is fun. Let's say hello to the owner of the tent. How you doing? How you doing? We are doing great. I love this though. I love the whole view and uh, the build in behind with the layering. There are so many of the retro transportation stations there. And I love that they have all the sign. It's just so cool looking. I wish we could get into the villagers tents, but I highly doubt their home. Looks like no one's here. Probably the same here yet. But again, we can always come. I don't know if you can. Can you even go into villagers tents when the game first starts? I have no idea. I cannot remember that far back. But this area, super cool. I love the build. Back out into the streets though. Walking along. I love the city design, though. The city design is so cool. And then you come to... There's a main house, which I was not really expecting, to be quite honest. I was thinking, how are you going to do up an old house? But the way it's all done and dark, it's like one of those forgotten houses from... I mean, this is a run-down town. This is a very good replica of a very run-down, forgotten town. And this is so fitting. Look at the garbage, the cardboard, the mess. The, I love the random vending machines everywhere because it doesn't matter where you go. There's a vending machine. But we are definitely going to go inside and check out and see what they've done with the main house. <clears throat> this is run down. Look at the newspaper. Look, I love the ground. The cardboard everywhere. The newspapers all over. The open bags of chips. Look at even the... What do you call those? The hanging banners in the back are made out of cardboard. I mean, yes. 
there's newspaper curtains. Like, they couldn't get curtains, so they just, like, pasted newspaper on the walls. This is absolutely amazing. I'm loving this. Even the kitchen. It's just, I love the gyroids everywhere, but look at the cardboard. And I love that the cardboard's all in different textures. You got like the corrugated side, you've got the flat side. You got some dishes kind of piled up. A bunch of ramen seems so fitting. Messy sink full of dishes. Cobwebs all over the wall. Like are people living in here? Trash everywhere. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is a bedroom, and it's just got the two sleeping bags. Look at the boxes everywhere, the space heaters everywhere. Is that a fax machine that they've got going on over there? I don't, I'm not, I don't even think that's a fax machine. I don't even know what that is. But they've got a little radio. I just can't get over the amount of boxes. Cobwebs. They have an air conditioning unit up top. They're in a house that clearly has no power as they're using space heaters and lanterns, but there's an air conditioning unit. Probably from the previous owners when this house was a lovely lived-in house and not this. Oh. This is the washroom. This is, this is, um... This is depressing. Uh, the washer, I mean, there's toilet tissue, so there's that and toothbrushes. There's running water, a light bulb hanging from the ceiling. Over here, you've got the toilet area and the bucket of water sitting by it. Like, if it doesn't flush, you can just throw the bucket of water down the toilet. You've got cleaning supplies. I mean, they're trying. They're doing their best in this rundown house. Upstairs. They're living. Oh, look at the window. I love window customs. You can see outside. They are living in this rundown house, but up here, it's like collections of newspapers and boxes. You've got a computer and your desk. You've got all sorts of stuff stored and little ca cabinets to keep things, but then you've got like precious art on the walls and graffiti over here. I love this. Downstairs is definitely a garage. You can see where you can open it up. They've got an old car in here, a bunch of barrels, bikes on the wall. They've got a TV. The garage is the place to hang out. This is where the entertainment is. They've got games, the couch sitting over here. Oh, I love the graffiti with Stray on it. That's so cool. They've obviously made their own customs and that's amazing. I love this. I love the garage. Oh, and the bike and the spray paint. Are they like fixing up bikes in here? They're like little entrepreneurs. I love it. Okay, the main house was an interesting visit, but I mean, it quite literally sums up the feeling of this island. I mean, and good for them for having some sort of house that is not a tent. We're going to continue going back and around because right behind the house I saw... This run-down basketball court. The fences are all rusted. There's no longer a pattern on the ground. It's just dirt. And even that's all kind of cracked up and full of weeds. And then in behind, you have all these buildings. Layered oh, are there people living in here? Are these like houses? Because there's laundry hanging up there. I mean, this town is a little sad. Oh. A coin? That's, like, precious here. Because, I mean, you find anything worth any value here. I think it's very important. Look at these roadways and the builds. The builds are amazing. I love the customs. I love the layering. It's like 
a sad town. It's um obviously going through a rough time, and yet I'm obsessed with the way that they've put it together. There's just so much going on and so much detail. Where is this? Oh, this is where the other tent city is. And what's... Oh, look, they've got... Okay, the um, sleeping bag out front is also just a little bleak, but there's people living up in like, we're gonna call these apartments because there's like little balconies and you can see that they've got their own little areas. These people have a nice little wrought iron dinette set and they're sitting outside with their coffee. The other people have got their lawn chair and the TV set up. People are hanging laundry. You've obviously got a bird lover on the end. They've got a bird bath and a bird house. I mean, making the best of what you have. That's a positive message. Heading back out into the streets and oh, lo I love the graffiti everywhere. I think it looks so cool. I love the tank up there. I love the graffiti. I love the walls, the builds, the layering. This is so cool. The sleeping bags everywhere though. Open 24 seven. What is it? Is it like a convenience store? I don't know what it is, but it is barred up and it, it but it's open 24 seven. So that's convenient. It's like a 7-Eleven, but darker. Heading down the street. There's Pashmina. What is this? It's closed. Whatever it is, it's closed. I see lots. See, and I'm seeing lots of scaffolding and paint and stuff. Like, they're trying to bring Stray back. There are people on this island that are trying to build it up and make it into something. But, like, there's a little plant out here. Pashmina again walking through. This is where we were before. It's kind of... Can, can you get into it? No. I don't know what... It's like a waste plant of some sort, I'm thinking. Oh, you've got train tracks back here. Oh, leading into a tunnel. And then you can follow the tracks. Oh, the tracks just keep going. And going behind the stores and where we... Were. Oh my gosh, the train tracks... Go all the way across. Oh, and then we come to Annie. Beans. Okay. And you're on this little natural area. This is where the waterway is in the back. And you can see all the rundown houses that are in behind. Oh, is there any way to get over there? There's no like to, oh, you can. If you just walk around, you can go right into this back area. So this is kind of like, this is where the secret beach is and it's just like run down old factories. They're just broken glass, old tanks, burning barrels. At some point, I feel like this was a happening place. Like, there was a lot of industry going on in this island. Whereas now, not so much. I love this. Look at the graffiti. Look at the layering. I love the standees. This is so cool. But again, this is almost getting a little brighter. Like, you see the scaffolding and you see the paint. I don't know if the paint's for graffiti or if it's for like fixing things up, but it's like, it's getting a little, I take it back. I was like, it's getting a little brighter because the fences aren't all rusted and dark, but then you come over here and the paint is definitely for the graffiti. This is not getting any brighter, but the builds are incredible. And I love that you can get through the cardboard couch. You can have a little seat, look out. This is, um, I love how full, what is this? Closed, but look at the build up top with the bricks and the couches. This is so cool, but what was it? I feel like it was like 
At one point, maybe a dockside restaurant and you could come sit up top like it was a lounge. And people would enjoy the views of the water and have some seafood, but um, no, not anymore. It's definitely a little dark. Look at this! With the fence and the building, this is so cool. All of the boxes, the paint, there's so much going on on this island. For being this rundown town, it's like so incredibly detailed. It's amazing. I love these builds. I love the layering. I love the height. I love the color. Like, this is so good. Then you come over here. This building, back in its day, it was something. Because this is so pretty. It's the nice, dark, medieval building sides. I love it. But then you've got these planters out front where the ivy is still growing. Like, I feel like there's hope for this city. <laughs> and then more old rundown buildings. There's gas over here. I love the customs, the broken brick, the broken glass. This is just so good. It's put together so well. And I love that you can access everything. Like if you're willing to walk around and find a way, there's all sorts of access to all the different areas, which is so cool. I love the train tracks. The main house was absolutely amazing. Heading back past the secret beach and back past this old rundown factory plant of some sort. And then you have this like little natural area and look at the groundwork like you can tell this was something like this place before whatever happened to it happened it must have been beautiful you've got these park like settings and all the buildings in the back you have these beautiful waterways train tracks running through like this is so cool absolutely phenomenal job conveying the theme it was described as a rundown cardboard town and that's exactly what this is there is so much to see though so much to do so many areas to explore so many interesting things to see so many ladders everywhere so you can see stuff from different angles i love the idea of the tents the fact that they are willing to give up everything for this island. Again, resident services has not been made resident services thusly. There is no Nook's Cranny. There is no Able Sisters. There is none of that involved. No excess of villagers and houses and stuff. They gave all of that up to create this realistic, run-down, kind of shabby chic town. And bravo, like, congratulations. You have made... An amazing island. It's done so well. I, I'm just in awe of the builds, the way it was put together, the feeling you get when walking through it. It's like sad, but yet, you know, somewhat hopeful. Amazing island. I am going to go ahead though. Oh, wait. I say wait because I saw something in the corner that we may or may not have seen. Unless that's just resident services. It must be. I was going to say, I don't think there's... We're up here. It's saying down here. That there's a tent. Is there a tent for blathers down here somewhere that I did not see originally? Again, the beaches aren't done, so... I'm not expecting to see anything. Oh, villagers. No, if we were to see it, it would be... Oh, that's just resident services. Oh, my heavens. Never mind. I'm losing my mind. I was like, there can't be a tent for blathers, right? Because resident services is still small. Never mind. I'm losing my mind. I'm crazy. I am going to go ahead, though. And my tour here, it was such an amazing tour. It was so cool 
to see these builds, to see the way they put the town together. If you enjoyed it as much as I did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you for just watching and coming along with me. For any likes, shares, comments, it means absolutely everything to me. And as always, you guys know, I'm going to be back with more Animal Crossing videos.